Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be editing a layout profile in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll modify the layout profile by using grips and entering specific attribute values. This exercise continues from creating a layout profile. So let's edit the profile parameters. Go ahead and open up your profile-3a drawing in your tutorials folder and then zoom in to the bottom profile view. Select the red layout profile. Right click, then select Edit Profile Geometry. Now you'll see that the Profile Layout Tools toolbar is displayed. On the Profile Layout Tools toolbar, select this button to select a PVI. In the command line, it says to pick point near PVI to select. This option specifies that you will edit the data for each profile PVI. On the Layout Tools toolbar, select the Profile Grid View. The Profile Entities Vista is displayed in the panorama window. The first row in the profile provides data about the starting point of the layout profile. Subsequent rows provide data about the PVIs. The last row provides data about the end point. Examine the grade in and grade out columns with the aim of reducing one or more of the steeper grades in the profile. Let's go ahead and grip edit the profile. With the profile curve clearly visible, go ahead and click on it. And then we have this circular grip right here. As you can see it's right at the midpoint. Go ahead and click it until it turns red, which indicates that it can be moved. You can move this to a new location, but no further than the PVI, as you can see. I'm going to move this right about here. The curve moves to pass through the point that you clicked, as you can see here, and the length changes. Click the triangular grip at the PVI, then move it to a new location. Next, you can experiment with some of these other grips. Click this arrow right here. Click this arrow right here. And you can even select these point of tangencies. As you can see, the constraints are keeping me from moving this grip any further up or down, but it continues along this line. We can do it with the other side as well. So that's how we go about editing a layout profile in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.